Hello and welcome to our series of videos highlighting some of Bauma's products and technologies. Uh, today I just wanted to go through our handheld programming device that's used to program our EIL 580p 58mm encoders. So you can see I've got attached here a clamping flange solid shaft encoder with an M12 uh, connector, 58mm body. They also come in synchro flange, um, hollow shaft and through hollow shaft. M23 connectors or pre-cabled encoders. Very, very versatile encoders. Uh, as I said, we can program a lot of the uh, things within the encoder to make them very adaptable and versatile to many different applications. So if you've got lots of different pulse rates or voltages on site, you can carry one encoder in stock and program it to suit the application. So looking at the programming tool, if I press enter, no external power needed, just a Connect the cable from the encoder to the programming tool, press enter, and it goes into the, uh, the programming device. I can read various, type, uh, various things from the encoder, so I can read the encoder type, it's an EIL 580p. I can read its current position, so it's set at the moment to 2048 pulses, and it's at position 1899 of those 2048. If I turn the shaft, you can see that starts to change and as I go past 2048 it reverts back to zero and likewise if I go backwards okay I can read the serial number from the encoder the full part number how many pulses per rev it's set to the output level the reference type this is the Z pulse or the marker pulse and the sequence for uh, rotation direction. So at the moment, A leading B means it's, count it's clockwise. What the firmware version is, and then back to the type. So if I go back to the main menu, I can set the reference pulse, so I can set where the zero starts. So if I wanna set this position now as zero, simply select enter, and it's now done. If I wanna change the number of pulses, I can simply change it using the arrows. So I could change this one to a, a 1024 pulse encoder. And press enter and now it's now it's changed it. I can write the output so I can change it from a TTL to a HTL. I can also change the reference type from 90 degrees. So this is your Z pulse or your marker pulse from 90 degrees A and B high to 180 degrees channel B low. So how, when you recognize your, your zero pulse. I can change the sequence. So how do we determine rotational direction? If A leads B at the moment is clockwise, I could also change that to counterclockwise. There's four buttons across the top, so you can write uh, specific um, recipes of, of settings that you've put in there into these four buttons and recall them at any time very, very quickly. So now if we read from the encoder, you change position, the serial number, and now you can see we've changed the pulses per rev to 1024. Okay, so as I say, there's some highlights of our pro handheld programming device.